guys. Well, today I wanted to share with you just a quick tip that has come to be invaluable to me over the last uh, couple of years, and so I thought I would just uh, share this with you. If you're ever in Mach 3 and you're running some G code or you're just starting to get it set up and you're looking through your G code and you have to do some editing, so you go to Edit G code and it pulls up your notepad here and you're going through here and you see something like a G28 and you don't know what a G28 is so you go down to Mach 3 and Mach 3 has your G codes and your M code tabs right here and so you can click on that and pull up your G codes and we can look and see what a G28 is I have to pull our notepad back up here but we can't pull up our M code and our G code, just our G code. So we can see G28 is a return to machine home parameters. If we want to pull up our M codes, we can do that and see what our M codes are. And it's very convenient that Mach 3 has this on, on the program. That's nice, so you can kind of go through and see what all your different uh, commands are. Make sure, make any changes you need to. However, when you're in Fusion 360 and you're doing your CAM functions and you pull up your G code, uh, there's no way to really reference to see what these are. You could, however, have Mach 3 open and pull those up. But what I decided to do was just make me a quick reference guide. So let's take a look at what I've done. So what I did was I just combined the G code chart from Mach 3 and also the G code for the M codes functions. Now I've combined them both onto one sheet and now it's a little bit easier to see and reference when I'm using Mach 3 or trying to edit some of the G code. Now what I did was I took this down to my local pack and ship store and for three bucks, a little over three bucks, they printed it and laminated it. So now I have it on a five mil laminated sheet. Now here is my G codes and then my uh, M code functions. And then for the uh, M code macros, I put those tables on the back. Or M6, M9, M7, spindle, that sort of thing. I had him print that on the back. So, turned out really nice, and now I can have these handy. I made me a couple, and uh, I'm going to put one on each machine. If you're interested in this file, I'll post it in my Dropbox and put a link in the description of the video. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, thumbs up if you like the video, and most importantly, be safe.